and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be covering baked onion soup as my first item guide for Heavensward. And as always, hello from Mifri. So basically, baked onion soup has become the new CP food of choice. And it gives, high quality version gives up to 48 CP and also 28 craftsmanship. It comes as a nice upgrade to the level 50 best CP food, which I like to call Bulalalula base. So obviously we're now concerned with the baked onion soup instead. Now the reason I'm making this video is just to show you quickly and easily how to get all the mats. So um, volcanic rock salt, if you can't gather it yourself with a miner, just buy it. Like on my server, <coughs> they go for about <clears throat> say a thousand gil each so let's see volcanic rock salt so yeah about a thousand twelve hundred gil depends on your server of course so what I like to do is um, I collect 33 of the rock salts because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get 99 of the cyclop onions now these are the only two which need to be bought from the market board or gathered yourself so you can see here 29,000 gil so you might think well that's a lot of money but um, the amount of time you'll save just buying them compared to gathering them yourself is immense also as well what we're going to do we're going to do some pure mass so let's say 30,000 for 99 onions plus say another 30 let's say 40,000 for this so you're looking at say 70,000 gil so far already right now this is enough to make 33 of the baked onion soup. If we look at the cost of baked onion soup on the market board, at least on this server, obviously it's different server to server, each high quality are selling for 14,000 each. So 33 times 14,000 is literally like half a million. So fine, you might spend, say, 70, 80k, but to make half a million gil worth of onion soups which you can see I did previously now obviously we need the rest of the mats so let me show you where to get them from easily all the rest of the mats can be vendor bought if you have a free company house and inside the free company house you have a material sorry material merchant then these are very very useful because these supply a combination of mats which are available from many NPCs around the game so let's I'll show you the amount of mats I can buy from this one person so let's open it up so we're, we want to go to cooking ingredients so to make 33 chicken stock we need six uh, chicken breasts so there they are right here for 58 gil each we need let's see um, six wild onions and I will of course detail all this stuff in the description we need six corfin carrots so then so you can see these costs right now are minimal minimal we need 33 mineral waters in order to go towards making night bread so let's see mineral water gets 33 of those okay we need 33 chicken eggs so 33 of those, 5 gil each, I won't complain. So you can see getting all that is like 300 gil, so that's really no big deal. We need, um, let's see, 4 buffalo milks. So let's see, 4 buffalo milks, 4 gil each. Cool, we'll go for that. And uh, let's see, we need 33 rye. Okay, and actually in theory we don't even need the rye. I'm going to sell those back. That, that was a mistake. You, shouldn't, you, you can buy the rye if you want to make rye flour, but you can also buy rye flour directly from a vendor as well, which I will show in a bit. And we need 33 honey as well, which you can't buy from this vendor. We'll get one from when we go to Gridania. So other than that, we need night milk and we also need honey and rye flour the night milk is actually can be bought 
from the Sahagan Beast Tribe. So if you've leveled up the Sahagan Beast Tribe to a certain point, then you can get Night Milk. You need 22 of those. And you also need, from the same, the Sahagan, you need 33 Midland Basil. So let me show you. If you don't know already, if you haven't already leveled up, the Sahagan Beast Tribes. Let me show you where it is. So if we teleport straight now to Aleport. Now the thing is, um, the thing I really don't like about Culinarium, but it's just what goes with the turf, is the sheer amount of mats you need to make one item. It's just ridiculous. It's insane. So, um, and this is proof of it. Like you see the amount of mats I need to get just to make 33 baked onion soup. However, the amount of money we're going to save by doing it manually is intense. Okay. So sorry, there was a bit of jitteriness. That's what happens when you have a full screen flash video playing in the background. I really should have switched it off before I started recording. So let's see. Let's see. Now, my stats as a culinarian, I still have my 55 main hand tool and my 53 offhand because I'm still spirit bonding them. I don't really, I try not to replace stuff until it's fully spirit bonded and I can convert it to materia just for the sake of getting some extra cash because anything 55 plus will give you pretty much a guaranteed rank for materia as well. So that's a, a, another good way to make some money. And you can see my gill is recovering nicely. Um, and I still have another 2 million listed on the market board. Anyway, here is the Sahagan vendor. So let's see. So like I said, we need Midland Basil. We need 33 of these. Okay. And we also need the 22 Night Milk, which again is right here. Cool. So let's say another 5,000 gil. So in total, maybe we've spent... 100k it might seem like a lot of money but we are going to turn it into half a million gil worth of uh, baked onion soup and that's only when you make 33 of them and uh, 33 might seem like a lot of crafting but it really isn't especially when you have macros which can 100% high quality them so anyway the reason we've come to gridania is for the last two items so from gridania from the a for right run straight to the market area where we're going to pick up the first item and it's what I'm saying as well, guys. It's like just doing a little bit of research on a website like xivdb.com or ffxivcrafting.com or whatever to find these materials um, will save you a huge amount of money. You know, so it might seem a little tedious having to run around to gather these mats, but the amount of money you'll save is insane. So we want from this NPC to get honey, you see, rather than beehive chips. So let's get here 33 honeys so rather than wasting 33 shards and um 33 beehive chips by buying it from jossie the culinarian vendor we can just buy finished honey and it do really doesn't matter that pretty much all these materials are normal quality with if you've been following my crafting guides so far and you've leveled up then making high quality versions of a level 52 item is really really straightforward it's really really easy so anyway the very last item we need is um rye flour and there is actually one npc in the game that sells them in this shop right here so this random shop next to the amphitheater there's a guy inside who sells rye flour so and again i wouldn't have known that if i didn't look it up Okay, so here we go. And this guy is called Little John. So I wonder where the Robin Hood shop is. Brumtish, I am the funniest man alive. So anyway, let's see. We need 33 rye flowers. So you see he sells rye flowers, sunset, wheat flour, cornmeal for next to nothing. So here we go. So we've saved ourselves tons of money by making these items. Now, the first thing we need to make is the um we need to make chicken stock which is level 28 and when i make these items as well because i know i can easily high quality the finished product i just quick synth 
the ingredients to do it as quickly as I can just because there's no point high quality all the materials and spending all the time doing all the materials high quality when you can just finish each of the baked onion soups as high quality straight away you know it's, it's a real waste of time so I see absolutely no harm in quick simping that's why they added it to the game and as well but you can see I've also reduce the amount of quick simping I'm doing just for the sake of reducing my costs in shards you know just so I'm not burning shards for no reason okay so next um, one of them high quality anyway so that's all the chicken stock we need next we need to make night breads which are level 38 so you can see we've gathered all the mats from the vendor the rye flour mineral water honey midline basil and chicken egg all vendor bought so I actually ironically need to go get shards uh, from the FC chest to make those. So I will make those um, all normal quality using quick synth. Actually, let's use this. A for eight. Let's go to the level workers guild. Save ourselves a little bit running. And last but not least, after you've made all the night bread, then you need to make cream cheese, which is level 36. So note to self, check I've got all the materials needed beforehand. Thankfully we do keep the FC chest very well stocked in shards. Okay, so if I'll tell you what, let me let's make say three of them for now, just for the sake of it. So three of these. And again, like I said, normal quality, there's no point in high quality in them, it's a waste of time. Okay, then synthesis. We're gonna then make, last but not least, the cream cheese, which is level 36 right here. So you see, that's why we needed the night milk. But actually, so before we make the cream cheese, we need to make sweet cream, which is level six, which is what we bought the uh, buffalo milk for. So let's make those now quickly. And it's nice as well, the fact that some of these crafts like for example this cream cheese one buffalo milk which costs about four gill or something makes three cans of sweet cream which is great so one more now in total to make 33 you might spend an hour you might spend two hours who knows but 33 baked on your soup will last you weeks you know it's like it will last you a really long time and you would then have made it for a fraction of the cost compared to if you made it manually so again we're now making now the cream cheese so like i said guys don't be scared of taking the time to make items yourself like so i'm gonna save myself four hundred thousand gil you know that's a lot of money so in theory what I could do I could just sell 10 of these baked onion soups make a profit and still have 22 spare for me to use so you know so don't allow other people to get rich from your laziness let's say you know do not basically be like oh I'm just gonna buy them from the market board every time I need them because you're just lining someone else's pockets with 14k for each item when they barely cost a few hundred gil to make you know so that's the the thing to really really think about because in the long run that money adds up and in the future you might wonder like oh you know how are these people so rich and me like i can't even afford to teleport and it also like that, that little things like that can be the reason why so okay so we're making the cream cheese that's that done Okay, so now, last but not least, we can make our uh, baked onion soups. So I'm not actually 100% sure if my macro works without food. So let's not actually risk it. I've got other crafting to do. We'll see. I'll, I'll just use one of my other baked onion soups that I made before. And we'll see how well my macro does for quality. So you can see the only high quality I've got is volcanic rock salt. It's really not that important. Synthesize. So let's hit this macro. This is a macro I released a long time ago. The 50 to 55 40 durability macro. Cool. 
But of course, you know, things are easier for me given that I am higher level now. And if this doesn't work out the way it should, so what? We have the more powerful macros that I released yesterday, so it's really not a big deal. 76%? Eh. Cool. And we still have 30 durability left, so I could just, for example, um, let's see. I'll do Steady Hand 2 and then I'll just spam Hasty Touches for a while, I guess. So let's just do that. Let's try and get to the 100. Okay, 92%. Let's finish. Careful Synthesis 2. There you go, high quality. But for the sake of the next one, let me use the other macros that I made yesterday. So this one's a bit more powerful. I will make um, new macros for 70 durability um, in the next couple of days. I've just been so busy, that's the issue I have. So obviously this is the power of this macro, is the fact that it will hit precise touch instead of basic touch whenever it's available. Okay, so let's hit number two now. So it's nice, we have nine stacks of Inner Quiet as well. Actually now so ten stacks. Eleven stacks, wow. There you go, 100%. And we got a 6,000 quality, which would have been enough to do 100% on its own. There you go, done. So that's basically baked onion soup, guys. That's how I make it in mass for a fraction of the cost. And you can see as well that, in fact, I can use it to make money, you know, so I'm not going to lose money doing this. So even if I have to say pre invest 100k, by the time I'm done, I will have an extra 400k worth of product which I could sell. So, uh, but for now, this is an item guide. It's not really a gill guide. It is kind of long-winded. There's so many other ways to make gill quicker than this. But it's just a way of thinking about crafting in case you've been buying items like baked onion soups. Because it might initially look tedious to make, but it's really easy. I mean, it, it, didn't, it only took me a couple of minutes to go around and collect all the mats. It really, really was easy. If you don't have an FC, if you don't have access to... Um, the material supplier then invade someone else's house and use theirs or um, go to Jossi which is a culinarian vendor in Limda Laminza so you know just do what it takes to save money guys and if there's any other items you would like me to make item guides for please let me know in the comments down below if you like what I'm doing with crafting and gathering and everything I do on YouTube then please like favorite subscribe share with your friends let other people see the videos i'm making this for the community so please we don't need the select few crafters to become absolutely rich off simple items like baked onion soup i do make these guides to try and encourage more supply on all the servers so that prices of these simple items go down you know i do want that to happen because people should not be coming rich off such simple items they really shouldn't and as well, um, I am going to try and live stream more here on youtube.com slash myth-free slash live. Um, I have made a video explaining why I quit Twitch. So, but I do love live streaming on YouTube and I'm going to very much be focusing on YouTube gaming the second it launches as well. I mean, I've already got access to the beta of the live stream. So anyway, guys, like I said, if you have any suggestions, any feedback, any requests for videos, anything, please let me know in the comments down below. Alternatively, you can uh, send an email to my Gmail address, which you can see in the About section on my YouTube channel. And that's it. So thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. More videos on the way, more guides on the way. And once I finish the main story and I've unlocked flying all the zones, I will look at more advanced gathering methods. You know, that's something that's long overdue. And tomorrow, I will be looking at red scripts. You know, all the Red Script stuff, like how can we get Red Scripts, what can we use, you know, uh, with the Red Scripts, what can we buy with it, is it worth it, things like that. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri.